Um, for those of you who I haven't yet met, my name is Stephen Salel, and I'm the curator, I'm the Robert F. Lands Foundation Curator of Japanese Art here at the Honolulu Museum of Art. In recent years, our museum has made efforts to present our collection of Asian art in innovative ways that uh, feel meaningful to the visitors and that foster thoughtful conversation among them. In a series of three exhibitions that began in 2012 and concluded in 2014, Sean Eichmann, the curator of Asian art, and I focused attention upon the museum's collection of Japanese erotic art, known as Shunga. And we posed questions about the development of Japan's sexual culture from the 17th century until today. The third and final exhibition in that series dealt with sexually explicit art produced in the 20th and early 21st century, including works of manga, Japanese graphic novels. We have now embarked upon a new series of exhibitions that explores in greater depth and breadth the medium of manga beginning last August and continuing until January 15th, 2017, we proudly present the first installment of that series, Visions of Gothic Angels, Japanese Manga by Takuya Mio. If you haven't yet seen the show, uh, I strongly encourage you to check it out within the next few weeks. And as many of you are keenly aware, Honolulu is home to a thriving manga community. Every April, the Kawaii-kon, a three-day convention that celebrates Japanese popular culture, assembles more than 10,000 participants, including many local artists, critics, and patrons working in the field of manga. On Friday, October 28th, at 4 o'clock p.m., here in the Doris Stoop Theater, we have a lecture by Deb Aoki. Many of you know Deb from her comic strip, Bento Box, which ran in the Star Advertiser from 1996 to 2013. She currently manages the website Manga Comics Manga, in which she discusses Japanese manga, graphic novels, and pictorial stories produced throughout the world. Deb will discuss the course of her artistic career, the development of her interest in manga, and the struggles of contemporary manga creators. So if you have free time on October 28th, um, please come by. And feel free to wear a costume, because later in that evening, we have the Halloween uh, Art After Dark party. So it should be a rather crazy, raucous evening. This afternoon, in conjunction with Visions of Gothic Angels, I'm very pleased to moderate a conversation with five pillars of our local manga community. Roy Bumabank. Roy Bumaban, the organizer of the Kwaikon, Jason Yado, columnist and blogger for the Honolulu Star Advertiser, and artists Brady Evans, Andra Furuichi, and Jamie Lynn Lano. Please join me in welcoming our distinguished guests tonight.